Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Docker and Python and pip and dead snakes and a bunch of other related things. Um, and the question is, how do I get to a point where I have pip inside of a Docker file uh, such that it's usable with either system pythons or dead snakes pythons? Uh, and so let's jump into that. Um, I will have a video linked in the description about, oh man, there's going to be like five links in the description about like dead snakes, Docker, apt-get, some other stuff like that. So look in the description if, if there's other stuff that you don't understand from this. Um, and if it's more, ask questions and then I'll make more videos. Uh, but anyway, let's get started with a Docker file here. We're going to use Ubuntu Focal just for the sake of discussion. And I'm going to install a version of Python from Dead Snakes, which is a PPA that I maintain that forward ports and back ports Pythons. Um, and I'm going to use this special syntax. I guess there will be another video in the description about the special syntax as well. Um, Debian frontend equals non-interactive. apt get install y no install recommends. I've written a lot of Docker files, unfortunately, <laughs> so I kind of have this particular spell, ball, spell book of making Docker files. Um, this is the line that you probably want to use when you're installing things. So we're going to be setting up dead snakes. In order to do that, we need to install software properties common. Uh, which is where the add apt repository command comes from. And we're going to add PPA dead snakes. And then we are going to do another install down here to get, uh, let's do Python 3 by 10. And then finally, var lib apt list slash star. So this will give us a Docker image that has Python 3.10 in it. Um, and if we do Docker build, um, I'm actually using Podman, so. Um, which Docker? Yeah, so Docker right now is a symlink to Podman, uh, but I'm going to be typing Docker on the command line. Uh, that way, it'll be more likely for it to work for you. Um, Docker build dash t. Uh, let's just call it base and do dot. Oops, build. <laughs> I always typo build as built. Um, and this is cached because I pre-built this because otherwise it this video would have been like 20 minutes long, just me sitting here watching him build. But anyway, we've built this image now. And if we do docker run rmti base bash, you'll see that we have Python 3.10 here. Cool. But you'll notice that we don't have pip or pip3 or pip3.10 or python 3.10 mpip. None of those things are there yet. We don't have pip, so it's really hard for us to install packages. And I'm going to show you, I don't know, five or six ways to install pip. Um, now the first is that you probably <laughs> the, the first is that you probably don't actually want a global pip inside of your docker image um, and I did another video about that which is like why I don't have global pip or global virtual env. I'll link that in the description uh, but I'm going to show you like a quick way to avoid that in docker so let's let's take our docker file copy docker file and we'll do docker file dot vf uh, so the first one we're going to do is a docker file that um, doesn't use global pip, but sets up a virtual environment, and that virtual environment has pip globally available in it. Um, and you can either do this using virtualenv or using vmv. It's going to be slightly easier for me to explain it using vmv, so I'm going to do that today. Uh, but you could imagine installing curl and pulling down, you know, either virtualenv.pyz or, well, that's how I would do it, <laughs> and then using that to build your virtualenv. Uh, but I'm going to install the dash vmv package, which pulls in the uh, vir virtual env virtual env standard library module vm standard lab standard library module and we're going to use that to build a virtual environment now note i'm also going to put the virtual environment on the path this is essentially the same as running the activate script but we're going to cheat a little bit um, so we're going to do path vm bin path uh, this is where i'm going to eventually place my virtual environment and this is the bin directory that'll that'll be there um, and this is this is essentially the same as running the activate script of a virtual environment. And then after that, we're going to do Python 3.10 dash m vm and then slash vm, and that's where we wanted to put that. And then after that, we can install whatever packages we want. So we wanted to do you know, pip install. Um, what's the package? AST, pretty sure. Uh, so this will set up a virtual environment, and that's where we'll get our global pip from. Now note, it's not actually global, so it won't interfere with your operating system um, because it's it's isolated to this virtual environment here. And if we build that now, docker build, and we have to do dash f because I gave it a different Docker file name. 
uh, dash t base dash vm. Um, so this will, and again, this <laughs> this command was cached because I pre-built this with this as well, just to make sure that we wouldn't spend a bunch of time here. Um, and you can see here that we're able to set up our virtual environment and we're able to run pip here. And you know, it complained about having a version that's slightly out of date, um, but that's the way things go. And if we run this, rmti base vm bash, uh, you'll see that which pip is our inside of our virtual environment. And you know, if we pip install anything else, it'll work fine uh, because it'll just use that pip that's inside of a virtual environment. So this is the first option. This is the one that I recommend, which is to not have a global pip, uh, but do it inside of a virtual env. Um, but I don't know, some, some of you don't, <laughs> some of you don't like this approach. So I'm going to show you the other ways that you can get pip set up with dead snakes or with the, with the system Python. Now the first one is, um, well, actually, let me make sure that it works because I don't know that it actually works. User bin Python 3.10, and this is specific to dead snakes. So this won't work with the uh, Debian Pythons, for example. I think this works. Yes. Okay. So with the dead snakes Pythons, if you have the dash VM module installed, there will be a ensure pip module that comes with the dead snakes Pythons, and this will work to set up pip. So now if we do which, I think pip 3.10. Yeah. Uh oh. We have to, right, we, we have, that's inside of our virtual environment. Um, we can just delete the virtual environment, um, which pip 3.10. Yeah, so you can see that that has, oh, it installed in a user bin. It should probably install into user local bin. Um, huh. I should probably fix that. Uh, but anyway, ensure pip is one way to get yourself a pip module um in dead snakes so you could do that with run python 3.10 dash m ensure pip uh, again you probably don't want it global and it's technically wrong to install into user bin on debian systems because that's where package managed things live um, but this is not actually package managed it should really be in user local bin um yeah but it didn't do that so Okay, so this is the second way. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to modify that file. Oh, well. Uh, we'll just pretend that that old file is still around. So this is ensure pip. Uh, move dockerfile.vm to ensure pip. And if we do docker build ensure pip, base ensure pip, that'll get us our ensure pip based. Python. And again, I, I probably wouldn't recommend this because it kind of sidesteps the package manager and it also kind of uh, installs in the wrong directory. So I, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, another way that we could do this, so let's copy dockerfile.ensure pip to dockerfile.debian. And this is the way that Debian recommends, uh, which is to install the Python 3 pip package. Now note that this package. Um, Oh, dang it. Well, we'll actually do this in a separate install because uh, I didn't pre-cache this one because I totally forgot about this method. Um, normally, I would include it in this install line up here, uh, but for sake of speed in the video, we're going to install it in a separate line down here. Um, normally, I recommend collapsing every single uh, install line into one. So we're going to install Python 3 pip. Now this doesn't have a version attached to it, but all Python 3 versions will reuse this same module. So both, you know, the Python 3 that ships with the operating system, as well as any of the dead snakes Python 3s will be able to access this module. So we build that. I probably should have built that while I was talking. That would have been better. <laughs> Debian base Debian dot. Um, so this is going to run a long apt get install command. Um, and pull that down. So what what um, the one like caveat of this is you won't be able to access it by calling pip. You'll have to call Python 3.10 dash pip or Python 3.10 dash m pip. Um, run base Debian. So if you want to do that, you can do Python 3.10 dash m pip install things. And that <laughs> right, that's missing the distutils module. So we have to do. I have to install Python 3, Python 3 distutils? No, Python 3 Python 10 dash distutils, um, which also doesn't ship by default. So you would also add, you know, um, you would add it up to the top one, but you would do Python 3.10 dash distutils. Um, 
because pip uses disutils, and so it's kind of a, an implicit dependency there that's a little bit weird. Okay, but now we can do Python 3.10-m pip install things. And so this will, oh no. <laughs> Why is this not working? This worked last time I did it. Uh, huh, missing HTML5 lib. This is Debian's unvendoring. Python 3 dist packages. Yeah, why is that not there? Apparently that's not a recommended package. Oh wait, why did that work? That's not what I wanted. I wanted to Debian install it. That's very weird. Huh. Okay, but anyway, this is supposed to work. Um, <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't. But again, I don't recommend this way either. Um, the last way is to, uh, and we're going to need disutils again because pip needs it. The last way is to use the git pip.py file. We're going to need curl for that and Python 3.10 disutils. And that is to download curl dash dash location uh, bootstrap.pypa.io slash, and I think you have to use the version here. Uh, so we care about the get pip.py for Python 3.10. Um, and we want to Python 3.10, uh, or I guess we could just pipe this into Python 3.10 directly. And so this will, this will pull in the latest version of pip that's supported for Python 3.10 and then install it here. And again, you'll use Python. Well, actually, I don't remember how this one works. Well, we'll see. <laughs> oh, I forgot to rename the... Uh, the file here. So this should pull in both curl and distutils. Oh, I'm going to need CA certificates because otherwise we can't use HTTPS. Uh, huh, I guess maybe 3.10 is not supported here yet. So let's just do get pip. I guess I didn't need CA certificates because they were already installed for some reason. So I don't need that. Because otherwise it would have errored if it didn't have a CA certificate. So something else must be pulling them in. I'm not sure what. Oh, actually, I think Python 3.10 pulls them in because uh, I changed how the Debian packaging works so that SSL works out of the box. Okay. So now if we run base git pip, uh, we should be able to do pip 3.10. All AST pretty. And so that works fine. Uh, but again, this installs globally. So sometimes you'll run into, uh, you know, you'll run into issues where packages interfere with the operating system itself. <laughs> In fact, pip warns you, oh, this is a nice new warning. I haven't seen this before. You should install packages reliably using a virtual env. Yes, indeed, cool. Um, but anyway, that's the ways you can get pip, uh, specifically for dead snakes pythons, but some of those also work for the system Python as well. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.